customer cash. You know, we don't often see so much radar with so little rain on it. You're right. There's uh, nothing there at all. I mean, usually somewhere in Georgia. <laughs> somewhere there's something. No, there's nothing at all. In fact, uh, I, I don't even have many clouds that no. I can show you. But if you take a real close look out to the uh, east, why, there's Brett, or what's left of Brett as he's falling apart. Here's an infrared picture of Brett, give you a little better idea of how he's being pulled apart. The center of circulation is up here. It's totally exposed now, so the storm is continuing to weaken. It will be a tropical depression shortly. Here are the latest stats, and Brett is forecast to move off in to the Atlantic going around Bermuda tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow morning, tomorrow afternoon, down to a tropical low. That's expected. Don't forget, Cindy, we're way out in the middle of the North Atlantic, and she is headed toward the United Kingdom. Actually, she'll go north of Scotland and crash into Norway. It's quite an active storm. So in the Atlantic, we have Brett, we have Cindy. Both are probably just about done. But come across to the Pacific, to Dora. This earlier in the day was a major hurricane. Look at the eye wall. It's falling apart here this evening. She is now showing signs of weakening. We can storm track her as well. Currently 140 mile an hour winds as a Cat 4 storm, but weakens to a Category 2, parallels the Baja Peninsula, and then starts to curve out into the Pacific, losing strength very quickly into much cooler waters. The Canadian, or the California current is coming down here, and that's just tearing, will tear her apart. So that's the story on the tropics for tonight. Nothing else is forming. By the way, our next Atlantic storm will be called Don, D-O-N. No rain to report across our area. Things are very quiet, but there's lots of rain, as Mike was saying earlier. It's in western Tennessee, portions of Mississippi, but not in our area. Doppler Max 11 forecast, always online, of course, for you at WTOC.com. Today, we made it up to 99, the high 103, now officially six inches below normal in rainfall. We'd like to see some rain. 83 is our current temperature now, 74 percent the relative humidity. Heat is indeed the story this evening. We got to a high of 97. Seven, our bar barometric pressure is currently steady. So let's check our Doppler Max 11 forecast and give you a sense of exactly where we're going over the next several days. And with this Doppler Max 11 forecast, we're quiet for tonight, a muggy, buggy night, low of 76, but tomorrow, back into the heat again. Heat advisories in place already, 20% chance of late day showers and thunderstorms, just a south breeze at 6 to 8, 98 should be the high, look at that heat index, up to 109. Today we peaked at 110, 78 tomorrow night. 97 on Thursday with a, or on Saturday with a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms. 97 on Sunday, 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms. And it's the late day showers and thunderstorms. Then mid-90s, lower 90s, perhaps a little better chance of precipitation Tuesday, Wednesday as you look ahead. It's a hot, steamy week. Starting warm in the morning in the 70s, finishing up in the 90s late in the day. And whatever you've got planned for the weekend, including a big poker run on Saturday for Honor Flight, that'll be fabulous. Beaufort Water Festival, of course, is wrapping up in its final weekend. Just be heat smart. Mm -hmm. Follow us on Twitter, Big John Weather, please. That's not all. What? Get your smartphone out. There oh. is a new way to keep up with oh, yeah. the news on the go. We're launching a new news app for Android and iPhone. The WTOC on the go app and mobile site is going to shut off at the end of July. For more information, you want to go to WTOC.com and look for the Stay Connected section. I already have mine. There you you can get yours. You'll want to. It's got some really neat features, and people are liking it a lot. All right. Now, we have seen some really, really bad endings to car crashes, but not usually a crash like oh. that.